How's it going? Good. So, Great. So I was just telling, uh, you know, so you guys launched in the UK last year. Uh, you guys are from London, correct? Yeah, or so uh, we launched in the UK in London about yep. 12 months ago now. Um, mm -hmm. Had really good traction in our first year with about a thousand stores in the UK now and uh, decided to venture over the, over the pond and uh, come and hang out with you guys this week. Yeah, and uh, so you've been here and you guys just performed on stage at BevNet Live at the New Beverage Showdown. If anyone was watching that from home, you may have seen their pitch. Now, uh, tell me, what was your experience like? How was it up there on stage? Uh, I think it was good. I mean, it's two minutes, so it's rapid fire. You're trying to say a lot in a very short space of time. Um, but it felt good. It felt good to pitch it. It's obviously new branding for us, so to show that for the first time is really exciting. Uh, some really good feedback from the judges as well. Yeah, and you know, what are some of the, the, the top things you think you, you took away from just being up there? I think uh, we, we've tr tried some, spent a lot of time working on our positioning of the brand and really making sure that we are able to communicate clearly with consumers about what the functional element of the beverage is alongside the emotional mm -hmm. side. And I think the, be the judges had some great feedback for us on that in terms of um, how we communicate on pack. And, um, we're still working on this the whole time. We, we were really mm -hmm. keen to come over to the US and listen to listen to some experts in the field here. And yeah. um, I think what we listened to was super, super valuable for us. Yeah, so now tell me a little bit about your launch uh, overseas. And uh, so I think we, we, I saw you yesterday and uh, you mentioned that uh, what we got here is it's a sparkling water, but in the UK, it's it's not as big of a category as it is over here right now. As uh, we were just talking before about how it's it's really shot up in recent years. Yeah, I mean the kind of seltzer category. It seltzer is not even a word that people know in the UK. Um, so there's plenty of sparkling waters, but usually bottled and usually not flavored. Uh, so Ugly was really the first canned sparkling flavored water in the UK, which is really exciting. So we've uh, we've come here with the positioning around telling the ugly truth. Uh, we mm -hmm. think in a world of fake news, alternative facts, um, and deceit that it's time for a brand to really communicate with millennial consumers. And so we're coming here saying this is a this is a carbonated drink, sparkling water, mm -hmm. no sugar, no sweetener, no artificial ingredients. It's all natural. Um, and that's what we're here to do, just communicate to a, an audience in a relevant way that's timely, uh, emotive, and just have a lot of fun whilst we do it. Yeah, and explain the name. Who wants to, who wants to drink something that's ugly? <laughs> why, would I, why would I want to be associated with the ugly brand? Well, we're, we're all about the ugly truth. So um, we, we think in a world of kind of sugary and sweet and carbonated drinks that promise mm -hmm. to make you happier, healthier, more beautiful, and uh, have a yeah. good time that quite often the, the branding over delivers and the beverages mm -hmm. functionally under deliver and so we always wanted to do something that kind of stood out mm -hmm. and made, a di made an impact and uh, hopefully that's what we're doing. Yeah I mean yeah. I think we, we talk about subversion a lot and uh, yeah. I guess people don't expect necessarily sparkling water to come in cans and people mm -hmm. definitely don't expect brands to call themselves ugly and it's almost our stake in the ground that's who we are and it sets us apart from everything else that's already in the market. Um, it's definitely, it grabs people's attention, it gets people talking, um, but like Hugh said, there's meaning behind it. It's, we, we stand for something which is the ugly mm. truth, and therefore once people maybe, they're shocked when the, fir the first time they see it on shelf, actually when they pick up the can and they get to know the brand a little bit more, then, mm. then it all makes sense. Yeah. So, um, you guys are partnered with uh, Green Park Brands. Uh, they're out in LA, and they're gonna be helping you come over. Uh, What's, uh, what's everything looking like? How did you get in touch with them and, and what's the plan for this US launch? We, we first met the guys from Green Park who have uh, previously really? launched the brand Hippies, the chickpea puff brand. And yes. They, they, are, they launched at the same time in both the UK and the US and mm -hmm. through chance I think we were introduced and we met the team and just very quickly aligned on the same vision in terms of brands that communicate in a clear way to millennial consumers, um, mm -hmm. healthier options that people can really resonate with. Uh, but there's just an energy and a, a vibe with those guys that we just re that really resonated with us at the right time, and so we've entered into a partnership with them now, where we're we're looking at launching here in the in the in early 2018, mm -hmm. and we're super excited. It's it's been a great uh, partnership so far. We're six months in now. Um, we feel things are moving really positively, and uh, we're super excited. Now, wh what can you share about? So you're looking at the beginning of 2018. Where where are we going to start seeing it first? What so we're going to be pretty focused on the Northeast. Uh, we're going to be based out of New York. Uh, mm -hmm. We're looking to have a team in place by the end of this year. Uh, and we'll be working specifically in the natural and speciality and also mm -hmm. kind of up and down the street with a DSD distributor. Uh, really, really focused initially. Um, but yeah, we're super excited. You, you guys know, Hugh, Hugh and I have followed BevNet religiously now for the three, four years. Mm -hmm. We love what you guys are doing. We've always wanted to come out to the US. 
and in making this brand, you know, from day one, we always wanted to, something that would disrupt out here as well as in the UK. Well, let me ask about day one. What, what was your genesis here? Are you, you guys are young, and uh, have you been in business before? Have you been in the beverage or food sector? Yeah, so Joe, Joe and I were both involved in the early team launching Vitacoco Coconut Water in the UK, um, wow. both about five years ago now. It feels like yesterday. Yeah. Um, what was your role? We, uh, so myself on the marketing yeah. side there and Joe in the early sales team. Um, yeah. Literally day one for coconut water in the UK. So uh, mm -hmm. going from zero awareness to uh, where, when we left the business being stocked in pretty much every major supermarket in the UK. Um, yeah. We learned a huge amount, that's where we met. And then whilst we were there, there was a growing movement in the UK, particularly about sugary and sweetened carbonated soft drinks. We now yep. have a sugar tax, but Joe and I had the genesis for the idea long before that. Um, just recognizing the issue that it had, uh, that carbonated soft drinks and soda in particular was having on health. Um, but we always wanted to create a brand that really resonated. We didn't want to make something that looked healthy and boring. And mm. so we, we wanted to do something with a rebellious attitude and hence the name and, and what, yeah. what you see here. And, um, you know, tell me a little bit about the packaging as well. You got pretty distinctive. I haven't seen this can before. You got a no, different can. This is, can this is a world exclusive. <laughs> Yeah. This is, so this is um, this is something we've been working on for the last six months. This is still a mock-up, so we're we're about right. to launch this in the UK in the next four weeks. Mm -hmm. um, we have four flavors uh, launching in the UK: so lemon lime, a triple berry, which is this can here, tropical and orange. Mm -hmm. I'm going to slightly tweak that range for the US to make sure it's suitable and the can sizes. But mm -hmm. what we try to do is really communicate a fun positioning. You can see here our, our brand logo, a brand icon, and um, just really trying to have a sense of fun, really bold, standout colors. Um, Definitely has a retro to feel to it. Yeah, a bit of a retro yeah. feel. Um, cartoon illustration, which is yep. classically subversive, and um, that's mm. really going to play a big part in the wider brand world that we've been putting together as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. Um, so, uh, you know, what, what else are, while well, you're over here in uh, New York, you know, what, what sort of, uh, you got other goals to achieve while you're over here? Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, BevNet's a massive focus. Yeah. We're looking to meet as many people as possible here. Just anyone that might be interested in being a part of our kind of ugly story in the US. Um, outside of that, you, you, you know Hugh and I are pretty nerdy. We spend most of our time just walking into shops and uh, picking products off the shelf and mm -hmm. trying things. We're going to absolutely raid the, uh, the beverage sample bar later. Yeah, once that opens uh, up. <laughs> yeah, you better be careful right? or, or someone better be restocking fast. Um, I'm thirsty. We, we intend to try a lot. So yeah, we're just um, really keen to kind of get to know as many brands and products as possible whilst we're out here. Probably eat some good food as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. We, we've just always loved the uh, the attitude and the energy and the dynamism of uh, US mm -hmm. beverage entrepreneurs and the and the, the scene and atmosphere here. Just this is our first day, first day ever here, and just the energy around the room now is is amazing. And um, yeah. we're going to feed off that. We, we just love chatting to chatting yeah. to anyone that has an opinion on ugly. Take some feedback mm -hmm. on boards. We're we're new to this. We're just over a year old now. So uh, anything we can do to yeah. improve ourselves is, is hugely helpful as well. And. Can you speak to a little bit, what, what are the key differences you think between a, uh, the UK market just navigating that versus navigating the, the larger US market? Just what are the logistical dif difficulties and challenges? Yeah, I mean, I think from a retail point of view, uh, the big grocery players are very dominant in the UK. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's five big supermarkets. And if you want to get any kind of serious distribution, you really need to be working yeah. with those guys quite early on. In the US, you've got, I don't know, 350 odd Whole food stores and you can build a really viable business in those stores alone. Mm -hmm. uh, there's nine in the UK. So the challenge for entrepreneurs mm -hmm. is often once you've done Whole Foods and you've done those kind of high end uh, sites, what's next? Um, mm -hmm. And that's one of the key differences. I think as well, just in terms of in-store theater, the, the Brits tend to be a little bit more reserved. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't see these huge case stacks and massive displays and loads of POS. Mm -hmm. That's what we love. Um, we're, we're quite excited about coming over to the US and doing that. Uh, it's definitely not as hot in London today as it is as here. So uh, yeah, it's certainly beverage not. weather. So uh, we have to turn the radiators on in, uh, in the stores to make people thirsty. Well, you're, I, you know, you got the chance now to come over US and uh, be loud and be, <laughs> be big. And absolutely. That's it. It's it's so exciting yeah. to be here. It's amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Great. Well, um, you know, I think we're we're just about wrapping up. And uh, thank you guys so much for being no, it's, here. It's brilliant. And, um, absolute pleasure. Great. We got another day uh, to hang out here at BevNet Live, and uh, just gotta take a moment to thank our sponsors uh, for the live stream lounge. We got Perkins Coy, Axiom Foods, and uh, Factory LLC. Uh, thank you guys so much.
Thank you.